So why was the detective looking for us so adamantly? All right, it's locked. All the doors are locked. Go figure. Just wandering around a mall by myself. That was a really lame boss fight. I'm just saying. It was incredibly disappointing. Can we call a friend? I, doubt, I bet all of them aren't working. Phone doesn't work. Well, we all have our hopes. Oh, come on, Heather. Calm yourself. We're going to get a cutscene, aren't we? Seems like the kind of door where we'd get a cutscene after. Yep, I was right. The detective is just hanging out here, still waiting. Heather. Uh, it's you. What just happened? You must be one of them. What did I do? What do you mean by one of them? You're in on this with that Claudia, aren't you? Claudia? What about her? She asked me to find you, that's all. So you are one of them. Claudia did all that? <laughs> the music Look, doesn't really fit the moment. I was just hired to find you. I'm not on anybody's side. I don't know anything about this. Why don't you start by telling me what happened here? And that monster. What the hell was that? I don't know any more than you do. All I know is that things are getting really screwy around here, and I've got a weird feeling it has something to do with me. Maybe you're just an innocent bystander, but I, I can't feel sorry for you because you dragged me into this. You know, if you yeah, kind of found me. What are you talking about? What's so special about you anyway? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so confused, would I? But I know there's something. Something I've been running from and forgot for a long time. <sighs> How did I remember that? What's wrong? Nothing. Where are you going? I think it's definitely the girl from the first one, because the girl from the first one had dark hair. And she has her roots are dark. We're taking the subway. What should I do? Hell if I know. Yeah, why is he asking her? What should I do? I'm a detective. I don't know what to do. Well, that sounds like a problem. Alright. Do we have a save point yet so I can show you the freaking uh, doggy. All right. I hope there's a save point down here. We need one. Closed all. Yeah, how, why does she think she can go to the subway when everything is like, it's abandoned? Yeah, exactly. It's like, why is he so obsessed? Like, please, child, tell me what to do. I don't know what to do with my life. I'm just here. What were you doing before this? Uh, I don't remember. Were you at a home? Were you like doing, did you have other cases? I don't know. All I know is this one case and that's all I know, damn it. When I, when I start a case, I clear everything from my mind. It's a ancient technique, ancient detective meditation technique. We, uh, we clear our mind. We forget everything about reality. So the only thing we focus on is the case. 
now you're not you're you're telling me I can't do the case. I don't know what to do with my life. It's all over. She's disappointed they don't have a star. She does seem like someone that would like Starbucks. Actually, you know what? She seems like someone that would either like Starbucks or hate it. Like one of the two. I don't think it'd be neutral. Like she could be one of the people like, oh, I can't stand Starbucks. I only go to blah 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 blah. Or I make my own coffee. I actually like cold brew and I only do it myself at home. Or she doesn't know. Actually, she may be a soda girl. She may be the kind of girl that doesn't drink coffee, but she drinks sodas. She's like, I was born in the wrong time. I miss the day. I, I need to be alive in the days when they had soda shops and soda bars. Pumpkins. She, yeah, she does seem like a pumpkin spice latte kind of girl. I hate to assume, but she, she, I, I can definitely see that. I think you might be right. Oh, okay, here's what I'll say. She looks like she'd be a pumpkin spice latte girl. But she doesn't act like she'd be a pumpkin spice latte girl. That's what I will say. Surely there is a save point over here. It's going to be like in the subway. Her personality says soda to me. But yes, her looks and outfit definitely say uh, pumpkin spice latte. And a peppermint milkshake. Malt shops, yeah. I know what those are because I watched Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> I always thought it was funny, like Jimmy Neutron, they have like a soda shop, malt shop, and uh, even though those don't really exist that much anymore. That was a good show uh, and movie. When I was, At least when I was a kid, I really liked it. It's like the one Nickelodeon show I was allowed to watch, and I uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. I love the conspiracies about it. When you look at where they were originally intending the show to go, and like before they kind of got canceled, like, and you look at where the writers were going with it, it's very interesting. And the, it kind of confirms a lot of the conspiracies that um, Jimmy Neutron is basically a, an experiment. And the whole town is essentially a simulated experiment um, by the government um, monitoring the super genius kid. That's why almost every episode you see, like, there's like a military base, there's military people involved. And not, there's never any consequences for Jimmy, but he's always being monitored, and there's always government involvement and in experiments going on. Um, and I think what what was it the uh, the other Jimmy? They were supposed to go a lot of places with him, like the evil twin Jimmy or whatever. But um, most of that got tossed aside when they canceled it. But they actually were planning on culminating the show in a really big way. From what I've heard, they just never got to do it. There's some weird noises happening in the subway. I I have I have not seen all of it, but I, I did watch it occasionally as a kid. I wasn't allowed to watch it, but I um, would still watch it anyway. If I went over to a cousin's, I'd sometimes watch it. So I remember the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour. Gosh, we're going further down into the depths. Here we go. Glowing save point. All right. I'm saving, and then I'm going to see if I can pull up that video to show you the doggy. This was actually a video I sent to my brother because he wanted to see the my dog's tricks, but I can probably show you. Okay, yeah. That link should work. Hey, Naja. Do you uh, want to do some tricks? Yeah? Do you want to do tricks? All right. Sits. All right. Put day. Good girl. All right, plots. Good, knocked. Good, now, hop. Come on, hop. Good girl, ceiling off. Good girl. What, you want two, you want two paws? What, what are you so happy about? <laughs> you like doing tricks too much. Yeah, yeah. You crazy, good girl. All right, sits. Sits, you heard me. All right, get blout. Okay. Good girl. All right, well, now that that's out of the way, let's uh, go ahead and continue. I, I haven't, I have not taught my dog to bite. I let her, I let her do that on her own. It's like, you're full discretion, you, you have full. Yeah, thanks. She's about, um, I think she just turned two years old, so. 
She's not quite a puppy, but I think she just technically just reached uh, adulthood because they it takes I think two years for them to be fully grown. What is this room? It's funny. I I made the mistake of. Oh no, the phone's ringing. So I made the mistake when I was raising her to um, always allow her to like, not always, but I, I let her like cuddle in my lap and she's never quite realized that she's too big for that. So she constantly wants to jump up in my lap, even if I'm in like a desk chair. And uh, yeah, I have, to, I have to stop her from that every once in a while. But um, she gets very upset if she can't cuddle, like especially at night, if she can't lay like on the bed, which I don't let her do because I'm, I'm allergic to dogs. She uh, she just cries about it because she she wants to like cuddle with someone, so she's a sweet dog. All right, let's answer the phone. Well, they're not all broken. One was ringing. Hmm, maybe it was a different one. You know. I used to have to use the subway. When I lived in Washington, D.C., we had to use the metro almost every day. And um, I would actually, based on how the world's going, I would actually not want to do that anymore. I hear way too many stories about horrible stuff happening in subways now. Wait, what is that? Fruitalicious? Oh, Fruity Rogue. I guess that's a type of makeup. Interesting. Good quality, good taste. Wait, what was the name of the, the brand? Price Down? Cheers? Oh, Cheers is the brand. Good quality, good taste at Cheers Coffee. Prices are down because we're struggling. And we need you to buy. Please buy. Yeah, um, Nadja definitely, my dog, she definitely um, wants to be a police dog. She gets super excited whenever she hears sirens. And uh, she tries to police um, the other animals. Because I, I have two cats as well. And whenever the cats get in trouble, she, the dog's like, oh, I better go get involved and stop them. And I, It's so hard to get her to stop doing that because she she's very command orientated. So if she thinks that someone's not doing something they're not supposed to, she's like, okay, I need to get involved and jump into action. Yeah, it keeps ringing. Why does it keep ringing? Stash your trash. Oh, they don't even put a bag in the can? Ugh, that's disgusting. It's locked. Hmm. Guess we go further down. Yep, that's I, I'm actually um, currently trying to move out of here because uh, I don't feel safe in this state anymore, unfortunately. Especially with how close I am to um, certain places that I won't I won't name for <laughs> privacy reasons. But um, yeah, I don't I, I don't feel safe in this part of the country at all anymore. So uh, I'm actually planning on trying to move uh, all the way to the other side of the country, probably um, within the next half a year if I can afford it. I feel like because when I when I moved out here, it was because I was like, you know what? You know what? This is kind of political, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, I moved here because I wanted to be somewhere that was a little more. Oh, great. I wanted to live somewhere that was a little more. Uh, progressive. That was a mistake. I was like, you know what? I want to live. I want to live somewhere where people are a little more chill, where people are a little more laid back, where people are a little more progressive, open-minded. It's not the case. I think it's a problem that most people who don't live in these areas. I know. I know. 
I think most people who don't live in these areas don't realize is that it's not what you think. Oh my gosh, we can go onto the tracks? That seems like a horrible idea. Oh my gosh, this is... I, I don't want to go on the tracks. Let's get off. We can't... Okay, good. Oh, shush, Heather. Stop making those noises. It's neither the time nor the place. It's locked, but we can just jump down. Yeah, exactly. You can if you step on the... Uh, that one track. I don't remember what the name of it is, but that one, one, uh, it's like a little track that goes along the middle usually. Why is it, it's forcing me to look down, so it doesn't let me look ahead to see if something's coming, and I feel like that might be intentional. Keep jumping down and going up. Oh no. Heather! What? I'm just saying that was very just sudden. They didn't like warn me that hey, there's a there's a train coming. It was just like boom, you're dead. Off camera too. And that was the end of Heather. Yeah, I was surprised. It was so sudden. It's like I would have thought I would have had a little more warning. Maybe heard the train. Maybe seen the lights, but no. They just they force you to look down so you can't see what's coming. And then bam, you're dead. Thanks, developers. Now I know not to go on the tracks. And the developers are like, hee hee, you should have already known that. I'm trying to spread awareness for train safety. You failed. Remember dumb dumb ways to die? Do you remember that? No, not 1,000 Ways to Die, Dumb Ways to Die. It was like a advertisement campaign for a railroad. Or maybe it was the Metro. I don't remember. But they did like a skit. And it was like a song, like a bunch of animated characters dying in brutal ways. And uh, it was it went viral. I think it was probably around like maybe 2012, 2013. Maybe. It was around when YouTube was hitting a lot of its big popularity. Whoa, where are we? <gasps> the train tracks are different this time. They put a grate. They're like, you know what? Heather was an idiot. We're going to put down some metal grates to block people from doing that again. <gasps> we go further down. Okay. Into the belly of the beast. The scariest thing about metro systems, like in New York or um, DC, is you got to be careful about the underground ones. Because there's a lot of spiraling tunnels all around there and cave systems that are usually connected to them. And people live down there. And I don't mean a little bit of people. A lot of people tend to live down there. Ooh, what is this? The nutcracker. We already got the nut. Are we going to find another walnut? Or a pecan? pecan? All right. Random workplace say they had a guitar. Huh. Well, we found a nutcracker. These subways are weird. It's kind of like... Um... Oh, great. It's kind of... It's not really like there's a lot of threats, but it's... um. It's very empty feeling. Oh, great. Is someone sleeping here? A dead body. I can't really do anything for the poor guy. Well, what would you have done for him? I guess show him how to get out? Like, follow me, sir. <gasps> He's got ammo. And health. What is this up here? Looks like he got something else. No, nothing we can take. All right. Oh, my knee! You jerk! No, I was gonna say it, but you're a bit. 
Yep, I said it, dog. I'd say it again. There's another one. I'm confused. Like, she wanted to go to the subway, but there's, like, nothing down here. But what does that poster say? There's a subway map. I just need to get on Virgin Street train at Platform 3. Okay. Fire doors are locked. Sounds like a violation for the mark. Yeah, that is a good point. Not that they care here. Although, to be honest, it doesn't surprise me. I've seen so many things. Like, I will say one thing, one uh, negative side about if you ever work in the medical field is you start to realize that no field is uh, without its fair share of people that don't know what they're doing and are somehow in power. <laughs> it's uh, definitely pretty normal in every profession. Okay, so, probably can't go, if you go on the tracks, we're going to get squished. Oh, man, this sucks. It's like, because, like, you know, I worked with a lot of doctors, and I realized very quickly, and was very shocked to find that there are a lot of really, okay, maybe this is a little mean, but there are doctors that um, definitely do not deserve their degrees. <laughs> There are doctors who definitely do not know what they're talking about. Sadly, so much of the medical industry now, and I say industry because it really has become an industry, um, is just like, here's uh, a coloring book. This is the like a, a paint by numbers for medical stuff. It's like, okay, well, this is this kind of problem. So what am I supposed to do in the book? Okay, this is how I treat this specific problem. Um, it's kind of scary, actually. <laughs> Inches of dust and cereal powder or whatever. And when we clean, we can't even use respirators. So we breathe that stuff in. You shouldn't say that. I know where you work. You told me the name of your employer. And now you just told me. Inches of dust and cereal powder. That could be bad depending on what is in the cereal. Because there are certain, like, for example, if you were at a candy factory and uh, they were the, stuff, the people that used titanium dioxide in their candy and there was powder and you're breathing that in, you're screwed because that is pretty much confirmed to create tumors in your lungs. So thanks, job. I have cancer now. All right, we're going to go on the tracks. Oh, this is going to end badly. Oh, man, where are we supposed to go? See, now you're backtracking. You're like, just in case someone sees this. It's not literally inches, but it's, it's a layer. Tom in accounting is like... Pfft. How dare you? That one customer we could have had. Just snort milk? Yeah, there you go. It's like when I was a kid. I would, um, I thought it was really cool to... <laughs> so I was at my cousin's and he had those pixie sticks, if you remember the pixie sticks. Uh, powdered candy. I realized that if you, you can just suck the, the um, pixie sticks like through a straw and just like... Um, <laughs> not breathe it in, but I just realized that it was a lot more fun than just eating the powder. You could just, um, yeah, I know. <laughs> and so me and my cousins would do it. We thought it was really fun. So we would, um, we would, yeah, that's how we would consume the pixie powder. Now, knowing that now, I would never do that because of the crap they put in it that you really don't want to get in your lungs or anywhere. And considering I have uh, asthma, that probably wasn't good for me. But I didn't realize as a kid, I was probably like under 10 years old. I was like, oh, this is cool. And my aunts and uncles were just like, okay, I guess that's how they eat candy. All right, I don't know. Yeah, I think it was called pixie dust. It was like, it was just basically just sugar, flavored sugar. I would also dip it in stuff. Yeah, yeah Fun Dip, that's where I was going with this. I, I actually, I'll be honest, I still eat Fun Dip. <laughs> I, I have a box of it in the other room. I uh, it's, it's a good it's, if you ever want some candy it's a good little candy fix although I don't eat it like most people do but it's it's a good quick candy snack and they're cheap and if you buy the big box uh, whenever the holiday season comes around that lasts you like half a year yeah they're hard to find I the only time I really find them is um if they're like in the big bat box pack around um any holiday really they usually have them around um Halloween Valentine's Day and um Christmas Oh, there's a book on the ground. All 
I read this a long time ago. It's a, it's a nothing little occult magazine. Seemed like a bunch of crap to me. It's a nothing little occult magazine. It's a nothing? It's a nothing little occult magazine. Okay? I, I don't quite know what she means by that. Maybe she's throwing trade like, it's a nothing little occult magazine. Okay. I'm just saying, Heather is sassy. It's not so bad if you just read it for fun, though. Uh, Heather, make up your mind. <laughs> the souls of those who died suddenly by or accident don't realize they're dead. Sometimes they stay put and haunt that particular place. That particular place. How specific? These spirits have lost their human senses and memories and can only keep replaying the pain and sadness of the moment they died. The pain can get so bad that they turn to humans for salvation. Or they begrudge humans their lives. Or they begrudge humans their lives? Okay. At such times, they can possess humans. Places known as famous spots or high accident areas are often to blame. You should be careful when approaching such locations, especially on the day or at the time of the death occurred. That is, if you don't want it to happen to you, too. Dun, dun, dun! That was intense, guys. I'm shaking in my boots. My heather boots. My name is Heather. I wear leather. I wish I was wearing a warmer sweater. Where are we supposed to go? Oh no, what's happening? Why is everything going red? Or did the game just break? Uh oh. Please tell me the game didn't break. <laughs> um, I was very scared for a second because there was no continue and I thought I might have just lost everything. No. Okay, good. For a second, I thought I was going to load me like that. I was like, oh man, I am screwed. I was like, I, I'm going to hate to have to restart this. Luckily, I, I would know where to go, so it would be a little easier. But all right, now I got to find my way back to where I was, if I can. I do too. That's why, you know, normally, I so I normally have multiple save files so that in case it crashes or I lose them, I can load an earlier one. But I have been shocked about how many people, on uh, mainly on YouTube, get annoyed about the fact that I have multiple saves. They're like, oh, you just need one. Why would you have this many saves? It, it, it triggers me. I'm like, look, I do it for a reason. I learned that from being a kid and, like, losing so many saves. Yeah, I, I do. I try. To, I Look, I, I want to make this work. I really would like to do this full time. I mean, I am doing it full time, but I'd like to at least make money off it so that I could definitely do it full time. So I, I try to put as much effort into it as I can. Like if I'm not streaming, I'm usually editing and working on overlays or other things. I'm almost full time. What's frustrating, though, is like the main thing that I get traction on is shorts. And I hate making shorts. I really do. I hate them. I feel like my content doesn't work very good as shorts, but YouTube will actually show people my shorts, <laughs> my shorts. Um, it sounds so weird to say that, but they, uh, you do, I would be very happy. Um, but right now I think there's only my Modern Warfare stream, um, the full series on there, but, um, which is only available on there because YouTube, it's all edited. Um, so what I plan on doing with Patreon is uploading my the streams full without any edit so that if anyone wants to just watch me and hang out and watch the full stream, they can do that. And I think it'll only, those will only be on Patreon. Unless you watch them when I stream them on Twitch, of course. But All right, how do I get out of here? YouTube will actually show my shorts to people. Like, I have shorts that have, like, you know, 10,000 views on them. But my videos, they don't show them to people. Like, they don't even show up in the search results. Like, if you you can search the exact title of a video, but change, like, one word. And it will not show up at all in search. You can scroll to the very bottom of YouTube, and it will never be there. Um, you have to type in the exact title, usually, for my um, videos to actually show up. So, I, um, 
I make the shorts because it's the only way I get new subscribers on YouTube. Yeah, uh, see, uh, uh, my Hunter knows her name. So Drew here calls her Shannon. I called her Cheryl for a while. And now we finally realize she's Heather. We couldn't get her name for the longest time. Yeah, exactly. If someone needs to mod the game. Just put, put Samuel Jackson and everything. Oh, no. Come on. There's people way older than him. I think Patrick Stewart's up next. Or um, Ian McKellen. I feel like they're uh, they're getting close. I, I That's horrible to even suggest that. But um, I'm just saying. they. I feel like... You know the most tragic one, I think? The, the most tragic death we've had in a while was... Um, Patrick Stewart is? That wouldn't surprise me. Who was it? that The guy that we lost recently... Um, not that recently, but he was... I, it was a shame that he passed because he is such an iconic uh, actor. Um, he was a lord. He was a knight. He was at a metal band. No, not Kevin Conroy. Um, he played Count Dooku. He played Sourman. Sourman. He, uh, he, was, he was knighted. He was like an assassin at one point in his life. Man, what, 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 why am I drawing a blank on his name? He was Count Dooku, Sourman. Um, he's Dracula. Nosferatu. Yeah, he's he's a very iconic guy. Like no one can replace him in his voice and in his roles, in my opinion. Not not easily. But um yeah, I, I was ashamed that he passed because he if you look at what he's done in his his life, it is insane the amount of things he accomplished. If if one of you guys figures it out, don't tell me. Just give me the first letter and I'll immediately know. I have a weird ability that as long as I have the first letter of a name, I immediately know exactly what it is. It was him. Starts with a C. Ooh, um, give me just a second. I gotta search my memory banks. I'm not a robot, but Christopher Lee. I didn't even need the last letter. I figured it out. Yeah, I got it before you gave me the L, so. See, it's weird. I have this the weird ability. Even if it's someone that I like met a couple times in my childhood, like if you just give me the first letter, if I think hard enough, I usually can figure it out. All right, how do we get to Bergen Street? So there's there's clearly creepy sounds coming from this from the tunnels, and it makes me want to drop down there and go down and explore. But at last time we did that, we instantly died. So I'm pretty sure we can't do that. Watch it be that I'm just supposed to walk down at this a very specific track. So Bergen Street was this way, or Bergen. Hey, you're the one that said it. I never said anything. I did not. You can uh, you can look back at the stream. Um, Bergen Street. Yeah, I did say that because she is. It's annoying. Moaning doesn't, moaning is not an implicit thing. Moaning is just, it's just something people do. I just want to know, she's like going to take the subway home, but this place is clearly abandoned. So what's, what is she thinking? Heather, Heather does not think clearly. But you know, she is running around with a firearm just in her hand, waving it around in the subway. Like if, if this was real life, she would be definitely, she would definitely be scaring some people. I, I will be honest. I think this is the worst I have ever done in a Silent Hill game. I'm going to blame being distracted, but I'm doing pretty bad. It only takes six hours to beat. Yeah, well, we're already at five, and I'm pretty sure I am not even halfway through. Her dad calls, Heather, it's been five hours. Why aren't you home? Well, Daddy, I'm lost. How are you lost, Heather? It's pretty straightforward. Well... Apparently you didn't teach me how to navigate, so I've just been wandering around the subway station on my own. But don't worry, Daddy. I'm brandishing a firearm. She's, uh, uh Lazy's not that much of a help with this. She, he, they tend to lead me astray. All right. 
I don't, I'm not going to look up a walk there. We'll, we'll, I'll figure it out. You know, if I'm, if I'm supposed to wait for a train, logically, if this is her stop, she would sit down somewhere and just wait. But, um, doesn't seem to be the case. Now, last time when we went this way, I think this is where we... I am perfectly fine with a spoiler-free hint if, if you have one. Because at this point, I've been I've been wandering on the subways for far too long, so I I need I do need a hint. I have to trigger a certain event. I'm gonna get hit by a train. I can feel it. And we're dead. I'm heading the wrong way again. Sadly, I've wandered through here so long it's starting to blur together. I feel like I'm in like the the back rooms meme. I think it's a meme. Maybe it's not a meme, but the back rooms thing. I uh I feel like I'm living that. Check our map. I've already tried. Okay, so let's go. Yeah, we just. I think the only spot we haven't really gone is over here. So glad I found that map. That is definitely going to help. Oh, these areas are locked. No, they're not. That's where I messed up. The chains holding the doors together are secured with a bolt and nut. A nut. We have a nutcracker. The nut is screwed on tight. I can't turn it with my hands. Okay, so we, we're going to use the nutcracker on the bolt. I think we found a nutcracker in this, or I hope... I hope it's this one. I hope it, that I didn't uh, lose it when I died earlier. Oh, no, we have it. I can't use that here. Hmm. Maybe I wasn't close enough. There we go. Progress. It may take us a while, but we made some progress. All right, well, here we go. I don't know why Heather logically would be like, you know, the path to my train is blocked. Let's just go vandalize property and search the other parts of the train or the parts of the subway. Fair enough, Heather. Fair enough. Oh, great. This doesn't look uh, sketchy at all. Sounds like predators here. Keep your guard up, Heather. It might be a predator. She's like, I'm not afraid of a predator. It's like that moment in um I love that moment in Archer. That that show Archer where he's uh, afraid that the predator might be near him. It's like everything goes quiet, a friend disappeared, and he's like, oh, predator. It's like I would do the same thing. Ooh, do we go further down? Or do you go in the train? I think we're going to go further down. Because that train may be where we're supposed to go. I'm assuming. Wow, this area is a mess. There are step ladder and wheelbarrows blocking the way. I can't get through. shut. Great. Maybe I should go back to the train. I don't like this. This is scary. I don't like how quiet it is. Like, we were, we're running into dogs and stuff, then now it was just silence. Alright, I guess we're going to the train. 
No, Heather. Get back on the platform. What are you thinking? Heather did that without my approval. We unlocked it. Wait, does this just take us back to the... Yeah, we don't want to do that. At least it's unlocked. That saves us a little bit of time. All right, Rowan in the train. It's not even the train to our home. I don't know why we would go in it. Heather got on the wrong train. Shotgun shells. We're going to find a shotgun? I hope we find one. Oh, this is creepy. A gift wrapped box. Could it be a birthday present? No, I guess not. Nobody I know would give me something this gross. Gross? But I'll take it anyway. It should come in handy against the monsters. What does she mean, gross? Maybe it's dirty. Or maybe she just finds guns to be icky, which I would find weird because she's been running around with a handgun everywhere. All right, well, we found that. I don't know if that's going to help us, but we found it. Whoa. That guy looked, um, big. It was like the Stafe Puff Marshmallow Man or something. Don't know why he's here. Is someone in here with me? It certainly sounds like it. I thought there was no one else in here when we were doing this last. Maybe we're not alone. It certainly sounds like we're not alone. We got one of those guys. Okay, I do not want to deal with that. Can we pull the fire alarm? Not that I condone that, but maybe we can get some help. <laughs> I can't believe that got me. I knew he was behind me. You know, I keep thinking it's something down on the tracks, but every time we go down there... We, uh, we get killed. Hmm. I don't know about you guys, but this is creepy. It really is. Like, I, I, I don't know. There's something about it just wandering these endless halls. At least they feel endless, even though it's kind of the same. The path is blocked with trash. I can't go through here. What a shame. What about over here? It looks like there's a light. There's a door there. I really hope I don't die. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, I can't believe we finally got it. I hear a train. Heather, climb it. She's not climbing. Oh great, I'm dead. Oh, I made it. I actually thought I died there. That was creepy. Wait, I thought, where's the door? 
I thought the door opened. Did I pass it? Hmm. Well, it's not letting us in. It's a little concerning. Maybe we have to go down here. I mean, normally you don't have to, like, open a subway door. Normally they open for you. Or they just open at certain spots. What the heck? I thought this was our train. This is confusing. What the heck? Do you have to go all the way down over there? It's a little weird. It's like I thought this was her stop, but I guess... I don't know. This doesn't make a lot of sense. We're not really getting a lot of instruction. <gasps> There's a light. Is that the door? Yes. Good. Finally. Why is she freaking out? I thought this was her train. I wasn't ready. Choo choo. As if subways do that. They don't normally. Unfortunately, I wish they did. Oh gosh, there's something on the ground up here. Wait, what did she say? There's a newspaper on the floor. It's nothing but garbage. Wow. Heather is such a, uh, so negative about everything. There's a newspaper on the seat. Same old boring articles. Crap, we shouldn't have gone back yet. What the? You know it would be horrifying is if we look back and there's just something chasing us. This is kind of creepy. Alright, let's go back in. I don't like that. Hey, there's a bottle here. Huh, an empty juice can. Just another piece of trash. Is this a save point? Looks like it. That symbol's drawn on the floor. Hope I don't get cursed just by stepping on it. You might. Alright, well. There's a magazine on the floor. Doesn't look very useful. Hmm. Wonder what it was about. Great. It's me and you, my friend. Me and you. Bring it on. We're just kicking it with Heather. All right. I don't know why we're going, to, why we're moving through the train. I guess I'll give her a reason. Heather's bored. That's her reason. Oh, it's getting darker as we move forward. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Something really bad's gonna happen. This one's taller. There's two of them.
It's okay, Heather. You don't need to read the newspaper. Just kick the thing. All right, how's our health? I don't think they hit us. Oh, we're at yellow. We probably should heal. All right. Here we go. What are we going to fight this time? Nothing. We're back to the light. Why did the camera turn around? Shotgun shells. What is this? Oh, it's one of the things from up top. All right. Let's move out. A new one in here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm using my guy voice. I need to use Heather voice. Is anyone in here? Anyone? Oh, no. Don't worry, Heather. It'll be okay. Did I say it will be okay? I probably shouldn't say that. I highly doubt it's going to be okay. What is that on the ground? We haven't seen an enemy in a few cars. Probably going to see one soon. Why does it suddenly spin the camera around? It kind of scares me. It makes me feel like there's going to be something behind me. You know, they just gave us shotgun shells. So That's probably not a good sign. Oh, great. We're loading. Does she have on a sleeveless turtleneck underneath her jacket? Because that's kind of crazy. I don't think I've ever seen a sleeveless turtleneck. I like turtlenecks, but um, a sleeveless turtleneck? It's kind of weird. Oh, man. That's weird that we had to save in the train and then outside of it. Hmm. I don't like this. Hopefully we're home, or at least near our home. Oh wow, we're going down? <clears throat> Maybe the subway went up somewhere. I doubt it though. All right guys, I think that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.